What's up, my Moon Tribe? This is Haley, and this is Moon Tribe Tarot. I am here to do Scorpio's mid-monthly from December 15th to the end of the year, 2019. So this is general messages that I've already pulled off camera. Um, general messages mean meaning that take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. If you would like a personalized reading where everything 100% will resonate with you because it will be your 100% complete story. Everything that you need to know to get a con get in contact with me for a reading is in the information box down below. Let's get right off with it. Scorpio, for the basis, you have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups represents this ultimate fairy, fairy tale ending. It represents, um, it can represent in any, it's not a bad ending, it's kind of like a happily ever after kind of fairy tale ending. It represents a happy home life, happily, happily, <laughs> it represents a happy family life, represents a happy relationship, it represents that things, for the most part, are looking pretty decent when it comes to emotions and how you view friendships and relationships. In the desires, the desires is the fool, and the fool desires, the fool as desires would represent to me that somebody is going off on a brand new beginning or they want to start off brand new with something. It is something that they have not done before, they haven't tried it before. And they, it's, uh, they can kind of be seen as foolish, but they are guarded. Their dog is their companion. They are being protected during this journey. So it represents a need to want to do something new. In your helpful, we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles represents abundance, but more or less it can also represent to... Um, Having successfully ventured into something and having completion, it is some sort of goal attainment. It does represent, it's a female card for self-empowerment, but it does represent the need to work on yourself. It is a self-empowerment card. It represents that everything that you need is something that you can gain by yourself. It does represent wealth and emotional abundance, so this could be literal money coming in. But for the most part, this is going for you. It represents that for the most part, things are doing pretty good. Um, for at least for yourself or building upon yourself, that things are looking pretty good in your emotional and money aspects for the rest of the month. Here's where things get weird. <laughs> All right. So we have your opposing. Uh, the hangman opposing you represents that there is some sort of higher perspective that you are not looking at. It represents the ability that the hangman can kind of, when he gets stuck into something, he willfully puts himself in a position where he can look at things in a brand new perspective. So what is going against you is that I feel like you feel stuck and I feel like you feel like you cannot get another perspective. I feel like things are kind of black and white thinking, even though you're not a, you're not, you're not an air sign. But I get that kind of like stuck mentality where you don't see a way out of something. Um, for your outcome. This is, this is odd because everything working up to this seemed really good and I'm not trying to scare you, Scorpio. But we got the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Swords, and the further advice was the Six of Cups. So because of everything that I read together, the Five of Pentacles does represent feeling lonely. It represents physical um, physical loneliness. It represents feeling left out in the cold. It represents things that did not go to plan. It's almost kind of like a disappointment card. It's, it's It could also be seasonal depression, but it all... It all happened because of a stalemate decision. Um, there's some sort of decision that you had to make or that you were not making and it is leaving you feeling depressed. It is leaving you feel like you do not have... Because <sighs> I, was, I was kind of struggling reading this for just in general when I was pulling these. So I am going to ask right now for further advice because I did get the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups as advice would be, okay, so the Six of Cups literally denotes, too, that you are being a gift, but I feel like something happened um, in the past. I, I definitely feel like you are having a hard time working out something when it comes to your perspective over a certain event. It is unclear to me if this has already happened or not. It is very possible that this could have already happened, but since this is an outcome card, I feel like it's in the works to be happening, so it, it's possible that this is residual leftover feelings from the past, especially because the Six of Pentacles is a past relationship. I 
I get the I get I get this very strong that this could be something from the past that is weighing you down. It could also be something that is just presently weighing you down. I feel like I definitely feel like you are going through a depression and it is kind of leaving you feeling like you have a stalemate decision to make about what to do about it. So let me go ahead and pull for an extra card because as advice, Scorpio for the Six of Cups coming in as advice. You know what, I, I know what it means. I'm going to tell you my version of what the truth means, and I'm going to tell you what the book means. Um, to me, the Six of Cups represents that somebody is offering you a gift of emotion, of nostalgia. It's an emotional card. It represents somebody coming from back from the past and giving their emotions. It is not a bad card. It represents... I mean, sometimes it represents exes coming back, and sometimes people don't want to see that. But the card, the actual message in itself is that this is a gift. That this is a gift to be worked upon. So here is what the actual advice in my bookie says. The advice. I'm not reading the whole thing. Accept the gift without suspicion. If you are in action, make it one of... Or if you're taking an action, make it one of kindness. There is no need... For any harsher emotions and I kind of feel like I feel like you might be put on a direction because that is the direct advice that there is no need for harsher emotion I feel like something is going to get in your way of that thinking I feel like there is something that is going to happen whether it has already happened or it is still stagnant in you I feel like there is some sort of depression some feeling of loss that had been prior, you had already made a decision about it. Um, but now, I definitely, there, things, okay, it's either that you had made a prior decision about it and it's coming back to haunt you almost, like it's something that you are having a hard time feeling, or it is something that literally hasn't even happened yet. This could be something that has not happened yet. It might not be a past thing. This could just be something that is saying that you are going to be going through a time where it doesn't it doesn't here's okay there's definitely some sort of perspective here that is off i feel like your perspective on the situation might be off um but definitely it is very likely that it could either be in the past or the future that this thing has come up of um as in saying like right now things haven't happened to get them to where this feels like until the end of the month but i feel let me again let me pull an extra card of advice I definitely feel like the advice is for you to work through things. Everything here looked really, really good. I feel like this is a seasonal depression type of card. I also feel like it's a card where your past might be coming back to haunt you in some sort of way. So let's, let me pull a card of advice. What does Scorpio need to know for advice? Where does this play out for Scorpio? What do they need here? The Two of Wands. Okay. Okay, I must have Taurus. All right, Scorpio. So, <sighs> you have your options open, and I feel like this is kind of, it's not that it's, this is advice. This is going for you. It is saying that your world, the world is your oyster, and every option here that you could make seems good. Even though there is going to be this feeling of depression, this kind of like feeling left out in the cold, kind of almost depressed, feeling like something abandoned you, feeling like something... <sighs> Definitely feeling like something abandoned you, or you had to make a choice about something, or you abandoned it. There is definitely multiple options for you to take in a positive direction. The Two of Wands says that you have your choices to make. It represents planning, it represents speculation, it represents seeing where things can go. So for the month of December for you, Scorpio, I feel like there might be residual pain that comes up, or it could be something completely new that comes up. Whatever happens, when this does happen, the advice that you are being given is that you have your options open. You have multiple directions and choices on where you can go, but you are being urged to take this gift and to not go about doing whatever it is in a means that would hurt other people. It literally says there is no need for harshness, so take whatever decision that it is that you have to and go with it while keeping in mind that you are being given a gift. You're being some given something to harvest upon. There is something here that you are being called to either work upon or to at least accept the gift if you don't actually want to 
reciprocate it, at least be genuine and um, sincere in in the way that you go about doing this. I don't I don't see leaving. Here's the thing. I don't see walking away. I, I see somebody being hurt. I see somebody's feelings. I don't see somebody walking away. I see somebody's feelings being like, oh God, that feels bad. That feels... It, Five of Pentacles does represent feeling left out in the cold, but I do not get cards otherwise to indicate that there is something being left here. There is just a feeling of depression when it comes out in the outcome. And I feel like Honestly, I feel like you are going to be your own worst enemy. I feel like this is from feeling like you are stuck in something that you're actually not. Uh, but the advice here is definitely that you have your options open. You're not stuck like you think you are, okay? All right, Scorpio, you are not stuck like you think you are. You definitely have the ability to manifest things the way that you want with kindness. There is a gift being offered to you here that you might not be able to see right now. But don't take this, take everything with a grain of salt. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. If you would like a personal reading with me where your storyline will 100% correlate to the messages that I give, everything that you need will be in the description box below for how to contact me. Until then, Scorpio, please take care. Again, I really do, I want to um, recipro I reciprocate. I want to make very clear that I, th there is definitely some sort of heavy presence coming in for you at the end of December. But it's not something that cannot be worked on, and it's not something that you are stuck in. All right, Scorpio, please have a blessed holiday season if I don't hear from you again until after then. Peace out, my moon tribe.